You know, the great philosopher George Santayana said that uh, those who do not remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Uh, there's a lot of historical parallels that most people are missing and the media is missing and our academics are missing with some of the trends we're seeing in our government right now. Uh, back before the uh, Republican elections in 2006 that changed Congress, uh, the Bush administration pushed through a stealth provision in the De Defense Appropriations Bill which gave the Bush administration the right to declare a martial law for basically any condition. Uh, now they have followed this up. Uh, the president has with a directive in May 2007 where it gives him the power to take over the federal government uh, with any kind of catastrophe or any kind of thing that impacts, has a major impact uh, on society. This could be a hurricane, it could be uh, a domestic bombing or whatever uh, in Oklahoma. Uh, but there's parallels in history to this. Uh, many people forget that Hitler was democratically elected uh, as the Fuhrer and uh, his uh, Nazi party was democratically elected by the people. The German people call for Hitler to take over and do something about the dangerous trends in society, the terrorists, the street rioting, which we later found out was staged by the Nazis themselves and all the fears were staged by the Nazis. And so Hitler uh, pushed through an enabling act that gave him the power to become the dictator, to take over the government in case of emergencies. And uh, his henchman, Joseph Goebbels, saw right away that this was a victory. He said, now we can do whatever we want. Uh, so we're having the same kind of trends in this country. We, we don't want to be paranoid, but um, one of the founding doctrines of our government by people like James Madison, Thomas Jefferson, the leading lights that the people who wrote the Constitution was, we, 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 we're not supposed to trust our leaders. At the first sign, the first experiment with liberties, Madison said, we are to take alarm. And so we have to be careful and very leery when we give governmental power to uh, leaders sh that should not have that type of power. And to invest in the president the right to declare martial law and take over the country. And if there's just a, some kind of catastrophe that happens in government, whether it's by the weather or whatever happens that he feels he can take over the federal government, it's too much power for indiv any individual uh, to have. So. Uh, to blame here is the media. The media is snoozing, it's asleep. Uh, there's no public debate on these matters. The media does not, uh, does not tell us these things are happening. We find out about them here at the Rutherford Institute just through research. Uh, so there's sort of a silent stealth takeover of the government uh, in a very strange way. And if we're not careful, I think Santana's right, if we, we don't really learn the lessons of history, we're going to repeat them and we're going to wake up one morning unfortunately and find out we live in a country we don't want to live in and the problem is going to be is is that it's going to be our fault because we the people uh, did not do something about it when we should have done so.